Stephen Allison is the next artist that we'll be interviewing for our video series. Born and raised in Phoenix, he's a student and local artist. Stephen is a senior this year at Arizona State University, where he's pursuing a bachelor's degree in fine arts. Before becoming an ASU student, Stephen earned an associate's degree in digital arts from Mesa Community College. We've been showing Stephen for a few months now, and his work has proven to be very popular. He's a very versatile artist, using a variety of mediums and techniques. Almost all of Stephen's work includes the theme of connection, whether it's connection to oneself, culture, life, death, and others. This is our next artist, Stephen Allison. He's one of our new, uh, newer ASU student artists. I've been showing him for several months now since, right? When did we start showing you? Uh, like January 6th. This is my first interview ever. I don't, <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little on the nervous side. Uh, I don't know. I don't really know how to act during interviews, especially right now with everything going on. So how did you get into the art world and, and when? Did you, have you always drawn or painted? Or? Um, yeah, I was always like the kid in class who would just doodle instead of pay attention or do anything like that. So I've always known I wanted to do something with drawing. As for actually getting into the art world, I didn't really do anything art related like publicly until like 2013-ish when I started community college and I got to like some student shows that got shown in like Phoenix and stuff like that. What types of mediums did you work with leading up to where you're at now? So uh, initially I was always into drawing. I was actually really scared to paint so I never really learned how to paint. Mm. So it was always a little bit of a problem. So I would do a lot of like, um, ink on paper, a lot of pencils, watercolor was like the first couple things. And uh, a lot of my early work that people actually really enjoyed was like uh, a mixture of drawing and collage. So I would like draw something out, cut out certain bits and then use paper and other materials to create blocks of like texture and color and stuff. Now I'm painting with acrylic. Uh, it's been fun. It's definitely, I still have a lot to learn. I wanna get better at oils. But I just don't have the space where I'm at right now or like good ventilation to oh, right. feel comfortable working with oils, you know, yeah. especially if you like lay it down thick like I like to. I'm just going to be sitting here staring at it for a year and a half until I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Have you ever done anything with like digital art? Yeah. My first degree at MCC was actually for uh, digital arts and graphic design because, uh, you know, coming from like a kind of more lower middle class blue collar not a lot of art people i was like okay i want to do art but i need to be you know uh i need to make sure i make money doing it if i'm going to get a degree so at first i was into graphic design and digital arts i did that for two years and eventually i just kind of realized that i don't like the way it feels digital art doesn't have that kind of give back that i enjoy mm. it doesn't really come naturally and then I just said I hate graphic design too. Like, I don't, I don't mind doing it on like the side, but to just sit there and make some dude's logo every day, I was just like, oh, I may as well just get like a normal job at this point. So, <laughs> was it not, was it not as much of a creative outlet? Not at all. Um, it was very technical, which I enjoyed. Yeah. Like, editing photos and uh, making vectors and stuff, but. It wasn't very creative at all. And then when I really looked into actually doing it, you've got some dude who knows nothing about art, like telling you what to do. He's like, can you make that yellow look different? And then you're just like, well, it's gonna look terrible. And then you just have to do it because he'll like smack you over the head and say, I'm paying you idiot. And it's just like, I don't want to deal with that. I'd yeah. rather just, you know, paint stuff, throw it up and hope people like it. And I think it's been working out pretty okay since. Yeah. So you went from, you, so you kind of started with the digital art and then started more with painting? Yeah, um, I, it's actually really funny looking back. I was like, ah, oh, I was such a coward. Just, you know, trying to find the easy way with graphic design and stuff. And then um, not to, you know, be rude to people who are into that, but I always wanted to do fine arts and I felt like that was like a close second from what we've seen in you know, the work that you've shown in the gallery so far, you kind of work with pointillism, like the dots that you did on that kind of portrait was mm -hmm. 
technical, I guess. Like you said, you were you kind of like that. And then do you do you work with watercolor too? I, yeah. Or, some of the some of the stuff that you brought in here looks kind of looks like watercolor, or is it? Or are you getting that effect with with other mediums? So for the pointillism, um, that was back when I was first learning how to paint, and I was still very much just pure drawing and line work and ink. So I figured that was a way to create depth when I don't know much about actually painting. Oh, okay. Because this was this was before I went back to school or learned anything about like arts, like fine arts techniques. So I was just like, okay, this is a way I can make something that's got a lot of depth and uh, a sense of space while not really knowing how to do that with regular colors or other techniques. As for watercolor, yeah, I used watercolor for a long time. I think like I, I, le I learned it about a year ago was when I first took my watercolor class at ASU. And uh, I kind of just fell in love with it. And I really like the techniques. I like the effects you can get. I like the permanence of it. Like if you put something down, it's there. You got to work with it or, uh, you know, make just make it happen. And I kind of like that within art. And then um, as for creating watercolor effects, I found out that uh, you can make really nice watercolor like effects if you get like unprimed wood panels and then water down acrylic and really? work on it like that. So it's got watercolor effects, but it's still like, you can go back over it and fix stuff. And I've been working like that a lot for um, a show I'm doing for ASU. Nice. How is school going with, with all this going on? Uh, school's fine. I think all things considered, everybody did a good job because going from like in-person, never wanted to teach an online class, never thought they'd have to, to two weeks later, they're telling a bunch of kids to, you know, come on come on to zoom and hope for the best so yeah. i think it, it's going pretty well um initially it was hard to work from home just because i get distracted so much you know it's just like i sit there paint a little bit then i get lost in a youtube wormhole about something dumb <laughs> and then i come back and do it and then you you know what happens when you're inside all day and there's nothing to do things get kind of weird so <laughs> but um the downside is my graduate show got canceled it's going to be on instagram now and i'm just like uh, yeah, I was going to ask about that too. Um, you were saying you're trying to get, you know, a lot more pieces done than the requirement um, last time I saw you. And so are they going to do like an Instagram video or just photos? Yeah, the way they're doing it is on like the ASU School of Arts Instagram page. Everybody in the group gets their own little day. And because of the limits on how many photos you can post up on Instagram, I think it's like seven. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm on Tuesday of next week, actually. But uh, initially, I wanted to see if I could do a solo show. And but I don't think I've got the, uh, you know, it, it just can't happen now, which sucks. But it, you know, it, it's fine. It is what it is. Um, I talked to one of my professors and she's like, yeah, for artists, if you graduate during a recession, it could really make things really tough. Mm -hmm. So she recommended grad school. And now I'm like, oh, I don't know, because I've met a lot of grad students, and they, they're they fine, but, like, they're just not fun, and, I'm, and I don't want to become not fun. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking about grad schools. I'm looking into residencies, and it's just hard because everything's canceled yeah. right now, you know? So it's like, even if I did get, like, a cool residency in, like, Germany or something, they're going to, like, hose me down before they even let me in the country, and then I have to sit somewhere for two weeks, but who knows? What do you do to kind of get set up or get in the mindset to to get started on a painting? Uh, so before I do anything painting or drawing related, I like to like move a little bit and get my heart rate up. So like I'll do pull ups or push ups, run around a little bit, do like a little mini workout because I feel like when my body's, you know, got blood pumping, my brain works better and everything kind of just flows better. So it's like a little mini warm up. Nice. And then. Um, before I put down anything large, I like to have some thumbnail sketches. I'll browse the internet. I'll like watch a couple videos from things that inspire me. I'm really into like philosophers and a bunch of like uh, other concepts on like human communication and that kind of stuff. So I'll listen to a bunch of that or watch a couple videos and then I'll start doing it, drink a cup of coffee. And if it's later in the day, I might have like a glass of wine or some gin or something. So this is the first time I've, been in the gallery setting as an artist hmm. before I was an intern at Bonner David which is like a half mile away from you guys and I worked in the marketing department as a social media and uh, 
I guess, community outreach kind of guy. And I, I learned a lot about that and it was a good time. So I've got to like, to see both ends of the gallery, so. Is there anything else that you wanted to just kind of put out there? Or? Uh, I guess just please buy my stuff, I'm, I'm hungry. <laughs> we have a whole show of your work up right now on a panel. Keep bringing it down. Of course, man, you know. I, I've got some stuff I'm gonna send you guys here in actually like a couple of days once, uh, I, once all my school work slowed down a little bit. I gotta send you guys a bunch of stuff. Well, it was good to see you though, man. I'm Absolutely. glad everything is going, going well over there. Thank you. Yeah. And, and same to you. Stay healthy and keep painting and stay happy. <laughs> you know it. All right. All right. Bye, Stephen. Bye.